So Trisha, my final question for you is in terms of LinkedIn, how can people use LinkedIn? What areas they should be focused on? Because that's the professional place that everyone goes, network, personal branding, even finding job, even networking like me and you, we never met. It's through LinkedIn that we are connected. So which areas, and if you are a career coach, when you check a LinkedIn, how you assess if this is a good one or a bad one? Yeah, so I'll start with the profile first, and then we'll go into all of the job stuff. Yeah. You, you have to have a complete profile, yeah. um, photo at the very least, and it doesn't have to be, you know, a professional glamour shot, you know, something with a clear white background or nothing, you know, that's too crazy behind you. And from about the shoulders up, make sure you can see your face, no yeah. hat, no covering, unless, you know, you need some type of covering or maybe religious reasons. Um, but show your face. Um, make sure that you have completed it mm -hmm. based on the information that it's asking. That's one of the really great things yeah. about LinkedIn is it's sectioned out for you. Yeah. There is your bio. There is, you know, your contact information that you can mm -hmm. put in there. And then there's also space for you to put your experience, any kind of um, membership, endorsements, publications, mm -hmm. all of that, simply make sure that it is complete. Yes. Um, and then, you know, as you get a better hold or better sense of what your personal brand really is, yeah. you can always go back, tweak, change, all add, right. span, X, Y, Z. Um, now, where LinkedIn can be used in terms of a job search, lots of different ways. The first is from a research perspective. Correct. If you're interested in companies, if you're interested in a particular kind of role, all of that information is going to be on LinkedIn. Companies have a company page, so you can mm -hmm. find out what kinds of things they're talking about, what kinds of new things are maybe in the news, what kinds of things do they care about? And yeah. you can use some of those things in your interview while connecting with the recruiter and and, and. Yeah. Um, you can also, you know, use the job search function mm -hmm. and be able to filter and tailor what you want to include in your job search. Remote, certain salary, particular industry, certain function, all of that's going to be there. Yeah. Um, you can see when recruiters are posting jobs. If you like put in the search bar hiring or new job alert. Yeah. It'll pull up everyone who is talking about yeah. those things and you can sift through to say, oh, okay, this person is hiring. Let me get in on the conversation. Let me make sure that I'm putting in my application. Yeah. Um, and the last thing that I will say, I could say tons and tons, but this yeah. is I think it's important to call out is that you can apply through LinkedIn. That's fine. Um, but if you can go through the company's website and apply yeah. there, you may have more traction. Do not be afraid of, you know, when you go to a job posting and it says 7,000 people have applied, that doesn't necessarily mean that there are 7,000 applications. That means that that's the number of people who have either started an application. That doesn't necessarily mean that they filled it out to completion. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if you want to increase the chances of being seen by a recruiter, companies have their own ATS, applicant tracking systems, so right. your best bet would be to do all of that research on LinkedIn and then apply directly to the organization. Yeah. I tell my clients, you know, don't be afraid to change your banner, your picture, because some of them, they keep using the same time like three, four years ago, and they have changed. Like, don't be afraid to use, you know, the banner. You can use Canva and it's for free. You can change your picture. There's a video part that you can upload from your phone. But also tell them, let's say, if you find a job in a company and you're following up with that company, engage with their content or maybe find someone who has the same title that you are looking for and build a relationship with that person because they might give you some information in, inform, information in, uh, uh, information or the company culture or who's hiring. I would ask you, like, is it okay to reach out to a recruiter or hiring manager, say, hi, Trisha, I applied to this job, uh, looking forward to hear from you. Or is there any, another way that you can reach their message? Or because we know that they are bombarded with a lot of requests from job seekers. So how can you can differentiate yourself when you're reaching out? Show that you have done your research. Mm -hmm. Hey, Trisha. 
I noticed that Trisha worldwide just recently won an award for best coaching in all of North America. This is mm -hmm. really exciting. Would love to be able to hear more. I've recently applied to XYZ role. Mm -hmm. Would love to follow up or maybe schedule a conversation to learn more. Yes, recruiters get a ton of in-mails. If they don't respond or it takes them a little while, give them a little grace. They are getting hit pretty hard. Yeah. Um, and if they don't respond, it's really no love lost because yeah. you have gone through the right channels of getting your application to them. Mm -hmm. If they do respond, it's great. Have great. that conversation, add them to your, your LinkedIn uh, network and kind of go, go from there. But don't just show up saying, hey, I applied give me the job if I can't tell that you've done your due diligence yeah as a past recruiter it's frustrating and it's a waste yeah. of time yeah. because you're not coming to the table showing me that you've done any done of your research yeah. on your own Absolutely. in one of my previous guests they told that if you talk about numbers like let's say I know that in the last quarter you won or in the last quarter you made a growth and I want to be part of that growth mindset I think that recruiters or even hiring managers, okay, this person is doing research or talking numbers, which is very rare, and that will get their attention. Absolutely. You, you've done your research. Yeah. <laughs> and with that, my interview with you comes to an end, Trisha. I really enjoyed the conversation. Very great practical tips. I hope all the listeners will implement. And again, thank you very much. And again, for the audience listening, tune in next time for other great guests I'm preparing for you guys. And again, thank you very much, Trisha. And let's keep in touch. Bye, everyone. Absolutely. Bye.